get that replaced tomorrow. Yeah, that's coming down. Oh. Yeah. I was like, you I was going to place it in the yard of the dog, and I <laughs> forgot that she was right under the oak tree. <laughs> Sometimes she'll start to growl a little bit. Yeah. 
but she doesn't really she won't do much else other than that. Yeah. Um, now, if she really has it in her sights, then that's when she's like, Rah! which is unnecessary. In this she just thinks if she scares them away first, then she's one. Then she's one. Yes. And then they won't come bother her. I was watching a video the other day um, about a trainer working with this German Shepherd who would always jump on the couch and bark, 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 out the window. Yeah. Always, always, always. Um, the owner was like, I, you know, people don't come over anymore. <laughs> you know, he goes out in the backyard and he's literally like yeah. jumping yeah. over the fence and barking, barking, barking. And he actually had this method where the dog would bark, he would come into the room and be like, thank you, whatever the dog's name yeah. was, and just grab him by the collar, walk it over to a room that's isolated, shut the door. And then he ended up doing that over and over and over. Kind of like putting your dog in a crate. Yeah, until the dog eventually, and then, so and he would say like, I would walk in, you know, I thank you. I would look around to let the dog know, yeah. you know start to trust me, like I've got this. Yeah. Look around, thank you, and bring the dog into the room again. So eventually the dog would see somebody, but then look, like yeah. you got this. <laughs> right. You know? Um, I just thought that was pretty, pretty wild. That's kind of uh, Nelson Hodges does something uh, similar. He's more of a natural dog trainer. Mm -hmm. Behaviorist type of thing, and uh, what is it he does? He he will go like check check it out, you know, if the dog is barking, he'll go check it out, and then he'll be like, okay, you know, yeah, I see it, and then see it. And just okay. yeah, and then he goes and comes in another room, he just brings them with him for a little while, and just lets them know that he sees whatever they saw is fine. That's good. Yeah, he has a. Uh, he has a few things there. Then he sleeps with the pack of dogs he's training. Also, he has a lot of helpers, so I can't imagine that he does this all the time because everyone needs their sleep, right? Yeah. I mean, he's ex military and everything, but you know, we all need a good night's sleep on occasion. I can't imagine myself yeah. ever getting a good night's sleep when I have a new dog in the room of seven other dogs. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> my allergies. <laughs> that too. He has huskies. Oh too. my goodness. I have to, I would. Would have to sleep with a mask on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, no. I have dogs most of the day. I need eight hours when yeah. I'm yeah. in my own bedroom. Yes. Go to sleep. Now I have to wake up because there's a the dog fight that's about to happen. The dogs are snarling at each other. <laughs> Someone's going to take a poo. Something, somehow, somewhere. It's bad enough. I have a baby monitor, so I can hear. Daniel loves this part. 
you know, there's probably ones in is it Texas or Virginia or California, I'm sure. <laughs> Most of the dog trainers I want to see get far, far away from here. Yeah, it was hard when. dog trainers around here but I occasionally look for them for people like where could I find a bird dog trainer like I cannot find them I mean I know they're in right. Massachusetts uh, you know, yeah. Like, I, yeah I've looked for her yeah. you know to kind of there are ones in Maine though because I see big groups of them in fields oh, training really? maybe they come up from Massachusetts maybe training. the only ones I well I don't I think it was the closest I found yeah. that maybe our up uh, Yes. Up yeah, right. Um, Four or five hours away. Yeah. Now. The closest one I found was like in Maine. I mean, I was in Massachusetts. Because I was like, I mean, I know a really good one in Missouri. Something. <laughs> and I wanted her to like, you know, I want to see what she would be like, you know, as a hunter. Yeah. You use her nose because obviously it's a good nose. But then when I talk to Canine Solutions about it, they're like, you know, I think we just need to stick with the dog training. <laughs> just <laughs> good to have your dogs things. do other things, though. Right. You know what I mean? It's That's what I would think. I think me and Shana did the laundry together the other day. She did the laundry But she put it in you. She uh, goes to the hamper, brings me what I want. Oh, really? I fold it, put it in the drawer, she goes to the hamper, brings me on a that's all from her fetch training. She'll also help me with the sticks this fall, cleaning up the woods. She doesn't get the sticks. I would love to teach her though. No. She just doesn't. Never has. Didn't know how to teach her. I'm sure that there's training and okay. treats involved or something, but. Well, there's some guys that have a natural affinity. Right, like she laughs or golden <laughs> right. Or dolphins usually do, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's always part of their uh, routine and protection sports, too, to be able to retreat. So, yeah, my, my dolphins have uh, always been good retrievers. But to do a working retreat, not a play retreat, is something else. You know, right. to get something every time, not just because they're enjoying themselves. Although there is a play aspect to that. I usually play she, with Shana tugging between every five or six items that she brings me. Okay. You know, so there's a reward for it. Same thing with the sticks. We should play a few, few seconds of tug and then she goes back and does it again. Okay. Yeah, I, at the, once we've done our training, um, there will be a couple of times a day, usually um, after I feed her in the morning, and I just bring her out um, and give her a toy yeah. to play with. Sometimes she plays with it, sometimes she's just like this, but I don't really want anything to do with it. 